Hi, welcome you all. In this video, I am going to explain simulation of PN junction diode using MATLAB simile. There are two different operating regions of diode. One is forward bias region and reverse biased operating region. First of all, I am going to explain the forward bias region of operation. How the PN junction is formed P type material and N type material combined together to form a PN junction diode. The P consists of acceptor atoms and N consists of donor atom. So donor atom represented by positive and acceptor atom represented by negative. In the P type material consists of majority carriers as holes and N type material consists of majority carriers as electrons. So this is the indication of electron and electrons and holes. Okay, when we join P type material to N type material, at that time some of the holes from P type is moving to the N type inside and some of the electrons from N side that is moving to the P side. In this way, holes and electrons are combined together. So, charges get neutralized in this portion. So, this portion is known as space charge region or depletion region because there is no charges now. Charges get depleted. Space charge region or otherwise depletion region. So these are about the PN junction diode. Now we can see the forward bias operation of PN junction diode. This is P type material and this is N type material. P is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and N is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. This is the forward bias condition of operation. P consists of majority carriers as holes. So these holes are repelled by this positive charge. So this holes that is moving from P type to N type. And the electrons are repelled by this negative charge. So electrons are moving from N type to P type. So some of the electrons, all the electrons are moving from N type to P type. And all the holes are moved from P type to N type. So that Already we are having space charge region no, or depletion region. Now completely this region get cancelled. There is no space charge or depletion region at all. And the current is, current conduction is take place. The electron, rip, both are repelled and the electron flowing from N type to P type, this is the electron flow, but the conventional current flow, this is the conventional current flow that is by holes is always opposite to the electron flow. These are about the forward bias operation. In a forward bias condition, this is the diode current and this is diode voltage. So up to cutting voltage, there is no conduction take place. The cutting voltage may be 0.7 volt for silicon and 0.53 volt for germanium. 
This is the forward bias condition of operation. Forward bias region. And next I am going to explain the next region that is the reverse bias region. So what is reverse bias region? In a reverse bias region, this is space charge region. So negative, negative, positive, positive, here negative, negative, majority carriers is holes and here positive, positive that is the donor atom, majority carriers electrons. What is reverse bias? P type material is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and N type material is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. So if we connect like this, the holes are attracted towards the negative charges, sorry negative and electrons are attracted to this positive terminal of the battery. So holes are flowing this direction, electrons are flowing this direction. So what about the space charge region now? It will be increased. In the reverse bias condition of operation, the space charge region or depletion region that is increased. So what about the result? In the reverse bias region of operation, there is no current flow here. There is no current flow through the diode. So in a forward bias region, the diode is in a on switch. And reverse bias region of operation, it is look like a off switch. So this is the forward bias region of operation. Diode is on. Here positive and negative. This is the reverse bias region of operation. It is in the open switch. Now I am going to explain the VI characteristics of the PN junction diode in the reverse bias region. In the reverse bias region, up to this it is not conducting. After this, current is increases due to the collision of atoms. And when voltage is increased, so breakdown occurs here that is the avalanche breakdown. So these are about forward and reverse bias condition of PN junction diode. Now I am going to explain these two region of operation using MATLAB simulation. First of all, open the MATLAB and in a command window type simulation. The simulation library browsers, browser will open. Then go to the file, new, model. Here I am going to explain forward bias region of operation of PN junction diode. Click on simulation library browser and click the AC voltage source first. Then voltage measurement block. Add the voltage measurement block. I have to connect this. BM and AC voltage source. Next, 
diode I have to connect the diode here and then resistance for resistance I have to click on RLC from the RLC branch only I have to choose the resistance so click on R then put the resistance value 450 apply then ok and here you have to put R then right click clockwise one rotation next scope have to select the scope three scopes are needed and main thing needed here is power guide Here, click power guy option. Have to place this power guy here. And next, I'm going to connect all. First of all, across the AC voltage, have to connect the voltage source. Then voltage measurement block scope is connected. Then anode of the diode is connected to positive terminal of the battery. And then another one voltage measurement block is needed to measure the built-in potential here it is connected and built-in potential is measured using the voltage measurement block Disconnector then one current measurement block is needed in order to measure the diode current. So, current measurement. to connect the current measurement block and next the output of the current measurement is connected to the resistor have to put this as CM current measurement block then the scope is connected to the current measurement so this scope is for the input voltage and this is scope is used for measure the built-in potential and this scope is measured for the diode current so in this way 
or connect all the block and this is connected to the negative terminal that's all this is the way to connect for the forward bias region of operation so this is known as forward bias of pn junction diode okay then this is the forward bias region of operation of pn junction diode then have to click on this voltage and put 10 volt apply then ok here have to put the time as 5 into 10 power minus 3 that is 0 0.005 then simulation run now open this first of all this voltage this is the voltage input voltage and next this is the built-in potential so it is the built-in potential so the built-in potential that is some 0 0.8 volt that is the built-in potential okay and next diode current see the diode current okay up to the time t it is not conducting after that only it is starts to conduct okay this is the forward bias region of pn junction diode and next I am going to explain the reverse bias region of PN junction diode. In a reverse bias region, the positive is connected to the cathode and negative is connected to the anode. That's all. Okay, now I now have to flip this block. Flip. Okay, here negative is connected to the anode now, positive is connected to the cathode. This is reverse bias of PN junction diode. Reverse bias. Bias of PN junction diode. Next, have to click on the run button. It is working. And now, what is the voltage? This is the voltage given. And what is the built-in potential? This is the built-in potential that is negative. And what is the diode current? Diode current. There is no diode current. Almost it is very zero point not not for very small amount of diode current. It is nearly zero. No diode current is flowing at all. This is the reverse bias operating region of PN junction diode. That's all. This is the forward and reverse bias region of operation of PN junction diode. Thanks. Thanks to all watching this. Have a nice day.